Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are just a few autumn recommendations. It is that wonderful time of year again where it is autumn or fall, and there are just a few books that I would love to recommend to you if you're looking for something to add to your TBRs. I feel like autumn is one of the best reading seasons that we have um, and so there are just so many wonderful books to read but I thought I would give just a few. Some of them are spooky, some of them are cozy and so I thought I'd give you just a few more to add to your TBRs. Not too many to like overwhelm or overload you because there are so many good books but just a few to get you started, maybe know what your next read is going to be. So to start, I have two cozy autumn recommendations. The first one is You Can't Spell Treason Without Tea by Rebecca Thorne. This also has a second book, and it looks like there are at least four books planned for the series. But if you've read Travis Baldry's Legends and Lattes and enjoyed that, then you will most likely enjoy this as we follow our main characters, two of them. One was the head of the palace guard for the queen, and the other is the high mage of the land and both of them are just kind of overwhelmed overworked and they really need a break and so they decide that they're gonna go and open up their own tea shop together it is an adorable uh female female romance and the banter between them is so good and it is a cozy fantasy it's just so fun to read about a couple of people you know starting up a bookshop kind of tea place with a little bit of magic and a small cozy community. And the other one I would recommend is The Honey Witch, and this is by Sydney J. Shields. The Honey Witch follows our main character who finds out that she is actually a honey witch. She has magic and they kind of harness their magic through honey from bees. And so her grandmother comes to take her to the island that they protect and teach her how to use her magic and it's not specifically cozy fantasy but it is very it is very cozy it's very magical very nature plant-based um but i feel like the stakes while they are there and it is a good plot aren't the most life-threatening really until the very end so it is mostly very cozy but not strictly a cozy fantasy um but because of the themes and the characters i thought this was a great book to read during the autumn fall time. And then I just have three very quick spooky book recs that I would like to share with you in preparation for Halloween or Dia de los Muertos in order to just kind of get you into that spooky spirit. So the first one is actually a horror book and I don't read a lot of horror, um, but that is The Center and this is by Aisha Manazir Zambiki. And this is kind of dark academia. You have our main character who is an adult who is a professional freelance translator uh, between Urdu and English, I believe. But she is not getting a lot of business. She is struggling. She's really only doing subtitles for Bollywood films. And so she hears from a friend of hers about this school where you go there for a certain amount of time. You are completely cut off from the world, you have no access to anybody, and you have to follow their very strict regimen for uh, their language classes. And so uh, after you complete this program and you are fluent in both languages or the language that you choose to study, then business starts looking up for people. So our main character decides that's what she needs to do to turn her career around. And some spooky things happen. So. If you are like, if you love the dark academia language base and you're good with some horror, then please pick this up. It was such a good book, one of my favorites of all time. So yeah, you gotta pick this one up. The next one is also dark academia. I have realized that all three of these recommendations are actually dark academia. So I'm sorry, but that is what I love to read in the spooky season. So Oh well. And that is All That Consumes Us, and this is by Erica Waters. She is the author of The River Has Teeth, and this is very 
oh it's so good for any of us English majors out there um, because this follows a group of kids who kind of live in their own little major community or whatever at school and they are trying to hone their crafts as writers and artists and then some spooky things start happening when their skills do actually improve and they do actually write so lots of spooky things happening with the school very good also one of my favorites i think it was my favorite of last year i think book that i read so yeah definitely pick this up and the final book is kind of dark academia ish it is pretty light on the spooky but it's one that i haven't seen anybody talk about and that is Mercury Boys by Chandra Prasad. And I actually have an arc of this, but it came out like a few years ago. Um, and it's it's such a fascinating concept because it it's the idea of old photos and Mercury, the like chemical, the element, um, making these boys from these photos come alive in their dreams. I'm not going to say much more than that because I, I can't explain it and I don't want to explain it because that's going to be on you to find out when you read. So uh, we follow girls who, who, who figure this out somehow. So this would also be one that I would encourage you to pick up. So like I said, just a couple of recommendations, not too many, but there are so many good books out there. So, but I think these are definitely worth your time and attention this autumn season. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. What would you, what was your favorite autumnal read from last year? Yeah, do that. What was your favorite autumnal read from last year? Comment that down below so that we can recommend more books to each other. If you like content like this, I am uploading videos every week and I also have bookish social media linked in the description below so you can follow me there and keep up with what I am reading on a more regular basis, I guess. <laughs> so stay tuned and until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading!